What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the Apple Magic Trackpad 2 I picked up at Best Buy for $129. It did come out after tax to about $138. Then again, the Florida sales tax is 0.06%. I have actually come across a 0.07% in Naples. That is just about an hour south of where I am here in Fort Myers, but it's gonna be either $135 or $140 or more, depending on where you are buying this. Today, we're gonna to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions. I do have an Apple iMac that I just cannot get rid of. I've tried selling it a few times, but trust me, it's not worth it because it is such a powerful machine. But what I have noticed is the user experience could actually use some upgrading. So I decided, and I've actually been thinking about this for a while, I decided it was finally time to pull the trigger and probably could have pulled the trigger a few months from now. But uh, I bought one today and I have a couple of reasons because I've been thinking of ways that I'm going to pretty much use this to basically justify buying it after we do the unboxing and first impression. So I did pick this up finally after maybe four or five months of deliberation and I'm ready to explain what my reasons are. So before we get into that, here as you can see we have the Magic Trackpad 2. Now Apple just recently came out with a 2021 24 inch uh, iMac. It's brand new for this year. It has Apple's M1 chip in it. But one of the hottest features is it comes in about seven different colors, I would say. Uh, you've got a gray, an orange, and a blue, and a green, a hot pink, I believe. That being said, even though this will eventually be available in a bunch of different colors, but most importantly, and last but not least, they will all look the same. They will all have this style, this sort of wedge shape. You actually can only open it from the side. It's almost like a DVD drive. So the mouse should actually slide out. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna open it holding the box like this here, but you'll also be able to note this is an older Apple product because if you actually look around the box here, you can't see any specified pull tab to unbox this like you might get with say an Apple Watch or a new iPhone. So we're gonna go ahead and just cut here on the Apple logo. And you actually have to just sort of get in there. The box is really closed tightly here. It's, everything is very fitting. We're just gonna go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of room to get this paper off, or plastic, excuse me. And as you can see, underneath is just a pretty white plain box. But everything is so closely uh, tied together here. And you just pretty much, and it should pretty much just come smoothly out. And as you can see, the trackpad here is actually humongous. Uh, the size that it is because you can use it to pinch and zoom and swipe using three and four and sometimes even five fingers. So earlier I was mentioning a pull tab and Apple did not include it on the outside of the box, but they did include it so that you can pull the trackpad itself out. And of course you can use the additional pull tab to pull out the lightning connector. This is USB 2.0 to Lightning. I actually do have a really nice GoSun uh, power strip hooked up behind my computer that does have three USB ports. It's a smart power strip for your desk so you can download an app and monitor your usage on it. Having a second one of these at the desk will definitely be helpful so we'll go ahead and put that off to the side there. And last but not least, you do get a user manual for the Magic Trackpad 2. Everything comes so nicely together and organized here. Uh, this is just product information, warranty information. Apple is so good about their warranties. Their factory warranty is basically gold. And 
this beautiful trackpad. So we'll go ahead and just uh, take off this plastic paper here. And nothing is better than a brand new Apple keyboard or mouse or trackpad. Uh, buying used MacBooks is sometimes a little bit unfavorable because your main concern is how dirty is the keyboard. I will be replacing my keyboard next, so stay tuned for that video. But okay, so now that we have the Magic Trackpad 2 out of the box, you'll actually notice it's on the slider button here on the right hand side of the trackpad is showing green so that means it is on it is slid to the right you can turn it off if you'd like but to turn it on it's just a flip of the switch what's actually really nice and i think you'll notice this is it's actually connected to my imac which is roughly 15 feet away one interesting thing though is it's not pointing at my imac it's actually facing an entirely opposite direction but as you can see i'm actually still able to use it it's actually connected right now it is giving me feedback so when you're using a macbook pro or macbook air for example you can easily get a secondary feedback with a very forceful touch but here it's just a single or double click but aside from the power button and the fact that this trackpad is on and working is a lightning connector at the back it's pretty much perfectly centered and to the left of it, uh, some kind of antenna for Bluetooth. Okay, so here we are in Bluetooth settings. Uh, one thing I just wanna make sure of here that I note is before you set up a brand new trackpad, make sure there are no previous trackpads connected to it. Uh, all of your devices will show up here and then separated or demarcated by this light gray line are brand new Bluetooth devices it can pretty much read or detect. So here in devices, you'll pretty much want to uh, delete any previous uh, Apple trackpads. Here, I deleted one. Okay, so here we are in Bluetooth settings. Uh, these are all of my devices that it just remembers, which is awesome. But one thing I quickly want to point out here, and this should be obvious, but before connecting this, you do want to make sure you have no other older trackpads connected to it. So just connect it like so. It's extremely easy to do. And now we have the trackpad. So as you can see, I can actually use my left hand and my right hand at the exact same time. So here's what it actually looks like when I move my left and right hands up and down in opposite direction. Uh, it's kind of interesting. I think you can pretty much see that here with the screen capture. So let's go ahead and zoom in on this road work here using the command and the plus key. Now let me show you why I bought the trackpad here. So zooming in with the command and plus key, you can see that our traffic problem is actually on a road here called US 41. Uh, and wanting to look at that but zooming in using command plus you can see that it's actually bringing me a couple of blocks over uh, i guess it would actually be maybe too clustered so here is where you would actually maybe just want to click on it it really does make sense to have the trackpad here to go okay here's road work and either be able to click it with the trackpad or zoom in on it first and then zoom out and then click so it actually is sort of the best of both worlds here. I've had tremendous help with Apple Care in the past, getting my Beats repaired, or excuse me, my AirPods Pro repaired, and getting some help in Final Cut Pro with one of the creative uh, helpers at Apple over the phone. Uh, I don't have Apple Care. I really hope you like this video. If you want to see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe. What I really liked about this Apple Magic Trackpad is the fact that you can use it to pinch and zoom. Uh, you can use it to swipe between web pages. You can use it to flick between apps. You can launch it into launch mode and select web pages that you may have up and running or different professional applications you may have up and running. Or if you're just doing some 
heavy multitasking, messaging, email, looking at photos. But without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this unboxing and first impressions. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. I will see you in the next video.